Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about how golf clubs are made. They are manufactured in three steps, which are head manufacturing, shaft manufacturing, and assembly. Golf club heads can be made through forging or casting. Forging works by shaping hot metals by striking them with a hammer into a die. Casting works by first making an expendable mold out of a ceramic material, and then molten steel is then poured into the mold until it's full. Once the steel is cooled, the mold is removed, leaving the golf club shaped. After forging and casting clubs, they still need to be machined down to the desired specifications. This is done with milling, drilling, and sanding. The second step of the process is shaft manufacturing. The shaft of the golf club is manufactured using drawing. Drawing is the opposite process of extruding. In extrusion, the material is pushed through a die. Alternately, in drawing, the material is pulled through a die. Here's some footage of drawing being executed on a factory floor. Drawing allows for very precise and uniform dimensional tolerances, which is one of the many reasons why it is used in the production of shafts. The third and final step is the assembly of the golf clubs. To attach the head to the shaft, adhesive bonding is used. A hot thermoplastic is applied to both parts, and then they are assembled together. Thermoplastics are used because they are very good for adhering metal to metal. To add the grip to the shaft, a glue is applied and the grip is carefully slid on. Using this process, the adhesive should withstand three years of heavy use. Just think, without forging, casting, milling, drawing, and adhesive processes, moments like this might not be possible.